welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And I want to thank you guys for joining me on this shave. And for this shave, I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to the Razor Company, Jason over at the Razor Company for letting me get my claws on this set. This set early from Southern Witchcrafts. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's Gotharum Tonsrina. I'm pretty sure I butchered that, you know, but uh, that I, I said my, I tried my best to say it. And check out that artwork. That artwork was done and I just found out, didn't realize it, it's done by Raza, Shaving with Raza. And Raza is just killing the label scene right now, man. He's, he's every soap coming out, is the label's done by Raza. So man, you know, awesome work, dude. Love the label. Love the label, dude. You killed it on this one. This set, it is just a winner for me. A winner. Artwork. Look at that. Southern Witchcraft. Man, the scent, the scent is... It is a... Southern Witchcraft takes a nice twist on a modern classic, the barbershop scent. And this is a darker twist on it, but it's still darker, but it's fresh and it's clean and it's just a winner for me. This is gonna be available this Saturday. What is it, June 26, I believe. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I believe it's the 26th, this Saturday, okay? This Saturday at noon, at noon. And that's when it's being released on the Razor Company website. So check it out. And the scent notes on this are, let me see if I can read it from here. Nope, it's not right here. So it's patchouli, bergamot, sandalwood, lavender, basil, and musk. Like I said, it is a darker twist on the classic barbershop scent. And oh, for me, it's a winner. I get the patchouli, the bergamot, and the sandalwood. Oh, and it, it's nice. It's nice. Scent strength on this is, it's not too strong. It's a medium, so it's not overwhelming if you're afraid of that. Um, I give this about five and a half, maybe five and a half, maybe six. I did try the splash yesterday on my wrist and, um, the splash when it dried and I, I kept sniffing my wrist, it kind of reminded me of Gothic Fougere. I guess it's that patchouli that's in it. And, and so when it dried, it, it just reminded me of a, a more toned down, gothic fougere so if you're a fan of gothic fougere right up your alley all right um the soap it, it's 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 um it's the the splash is reminding me of gothic fougere when it dried and the remaining scent um and so if you've been wanting to get your hands on gothic fougere and you don't know what it smells like i highly recommend the splash because when it dries and you just keep smelling it it, it, it smells almost like it, almost like it. So it's reminiscent of that. Um, and that's my goat. That is my goat. So, you know, I was loving that. What's more perfect than getting it mixed up in here, right? So this is what I'm be mixing it in. The Dark Sanctum Skull Bowl. Come on. Come on. Perfect, right? Just perfect. For the brush. Coming in with the synthetic, my smiles for miles, my blue banger here. There's this coin, 26 millimeter blue tip synthetic. And for the razor, I'm going with old gramps. Old gramps, my vintage, just dates back to that 1816, 1823. It's a Greaves, a W Greaves, and this is a um, near wedge. So see it right there, near wedge. Actually, this is a full wedge, I'm sorry. This is the full wedge. And it's a 13th, 16th blade, I believe. I'll put it right there. All right, so let me lather this up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and I got it all lathered up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working it in. Start working it in. Like I said, this uh, Southern Witchcrafts is a vegan base. Vegan base soap, one of my favorite vegan base soaps out there. I'm just a fan of Southern Witchcraft, man, and I love the artwork. 
I love the themes, the gothic themes behind it. It is super, super cool. In my book. And like I said, this is coming out Saturday, 12 o'clock noon, the Razor Company website. And pick it up, guys. I'm so happy that I just got the chance to get it a little bit early. So, yeah. I think uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more moisture to this. And that's what's awesome about having a mister. Wow, it is a soft soap. I forgot to mention that. And this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if I showed it off camera or on camera. Actually, I could add more moisture to it. And I'm just gonna keep painting this on Go with this. I think I'm gonna go with this. Place that in there. Let me clean up my lather. Boom. Hope you guys all had a. Let's see all your fathers out there. Hope you guys had a great Father's Day. I know I did. Oh, here's a couple pictures. The daughters. You know, we went out to Big Bear. Got that cabin. It was it was a great time. Took them to the took them to the lake, the museum. Um, the zoo and just hung out and relaxed. Got to eat a bunch of junk cuz that's what you do when you're on vacation, right? Just you know making those those memories. For my little girls. That patchouli, man. Such a fan. All right, now we need to switch over to the other side. Just, just nice.
trying to do better <laughs> at removing the, the lather from my face. Um, I know I, I am messy with it, but it's hard. It's hard. I'm used to just being messy with my lather. All right, so that's the first pass. We're gonna go ahead and wet the face. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water right there. And let me just mix it up in the skull bowl. One trend I'm noticing in my videos is that I do a lot of talking in the beginning before the shave, and then once I start shaving, I get quiet. And you know, I try not to do that, but that's just that's just me. I, st I, I need to focus on my shave. And that's why I try to do most of the main point talking in the beginning before I get started on the shave. Cause you know, I still, just uh i'm not a pro man i, mean, I do my best <laughs> with the master of this and we're gonna add more water Let's work this in. I think what happened was is that the, some of the soap got trapped in the knot. Because a lot of it was very milky. I'm in the bowl, not even much left in it, but when it pointed on my face, it's looking a little, a little dry. So I think that's what happened. We're still gonna add a little bit more water. Holding my breath here, man. All right, and I'm gonna go with this. Boom. And re-clean the neck, this line, that line. Now wipe down the hands and the lips. And let's get into the second pass. Here we go, guys. Cheers. You go. Know? Wait a minute. 
uh, a good uh, Let's go into the other side with the other hand. All right, and let me rinse off and I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back guys. And here we go with the splash, shaking it up. It's a creamy white consistency, you can see. Oh. Ah. Ah, so good. Ah. Darker scents are my personal faves but it's still a clean, fresh, darker scent. Just like I said, a nice twist on a barbershop classic scent. Ah, killed it, killed it. So here we go, check it out. I'll see you guys next shave.